Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more CSK News. I hope you guys all enjoy. I am just shaking this morning. I've had my coffee. I hope you guys have had your caffeinated beverage as we do continue the legendary stage. Actually, as of this morning, Renegades going through over Vitality, a pretty big surprise for the Aussie fans out there, really proving themselves. But all of you guys have wanted some actual CSK news. So for all of you guys who want a major recap, what we've seen up until today, I'll probably have a second video out later today, kind of recapping day one, two, and three of the legendary stage, what we've seen so far, and what we can expect by some Sunday as we finalize our eight playoff teams. So I hope you guys all enjoy this news episode because some big things have been happening. Thanks to Rush B Media. First of all, uh, Dust2 now also reporting on this. A couple of sources out there saying apparently Ghost Gaming may be making roster changes and not the change you would think they could be making. Apparently alleged to just one source right now, but a couple of sources actually reporting this um, as, as rumors out there. It could be Steel to be benched on this roster. Now everyone floods right away. Okay. Okay, guys. This is the same thing that happened to Swag, right? He's He's pretty much been left alone on that Swole Patrol roster because his teammates wanted to pursue DreamHack events overall. More importantly, they wanted to pursue major events. So people kind of jump to conclusion and think this has to be the same case, right? Apparently, though, according to this source, it's not the case. It's actually internal issues as well as communication, which could be causing this issue. Now, um, a, a temporary replacement, apparently a reporter replacement for him as well, would actually be Sabroza. Even more surprising because, if you guys remember not too long ago when Ghost Gaming added Freakazoid to that roster, he replaced Sabroza. Now, now, when he was actually on that roster, that being Sabroza with Steel, it was a bit of a coincidence, a bit of a weird thing, right? Two established IGLs, uh, Steel did take the reins there, so Sabroza was kind of, I don't want to say worthless, he still did, I don't think he was a weak link on the roster, but, you know, what he was actually made to do, he wasn't able to do for that team, so it made sense he was the first replacement, and now possibly coming back to the roster to actually be the established IGL. And my first thoughts were, whoa, 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 let's hold up here. If you guys know, Ghost Gaming has not even played an official LAN together yet, um, they've actually have a pro league spot so keep in mind this could be the exact same situation swag has been put in he has a pro league spot but no roster it, it could be steel though this time actually being cut out of that pro league spot if this team does not keep him at least on the roster and he has nowhere else to go could he go back to swag certainly uh, it's up in the air right now as to what's going to happen but uh, it was actually their only chance to qualify was so far IEM Sydney you could say they got pretty close unfortunately enough um, the, the, the top three teams there E United alongside Swole Patrol and Ghost Gaming Ghost Gaming fell short. Swole Patrol actually took that spot, but then E United, you know, bought the majority of that roster and they'll take the spot eventually. So Ghost Gaming is certainly still a solid roster, though. This is a team that's actually beaten FaZe a couple times in the past month, the close series with Na'Vi. This is definitely going to be a solid North American roster. And with that being said, a roster that I've always said had a chance at a minor qualifier, a minor or even a major qualifier through North America, but that was if they had steel. So really, really questionable right now if these guys make this move. I think we can probably all agree this roster has actually struggled several times without steel in it. We've seen them at two minors, uh, I believe a minor qualifier and two minors as well, where they failed because they couldn't have steel. They, of course, they had a coach in their in their roster, so you're going to expect some struggle. But without steel, this roster has struggled. Will Sabroza be the replacement for that? Uh, you never really know. So some huge news out there. But also speaking of which, if you guys somehow do not know, formerly I by Power, that being steel, that's why he was actually banned from still DreamHack events and majors. This is in huge news this morning. Glaive, of all people out there, one of the best known players in the world, has now also responded, kind of linking one of the articles about Steel possibly being benched, and has asked CSGO devs himself to finally unban I buy power players. And this, to me, seems huge. Although we've seen it time and time again, right? Complexity's coach Jason, he even has talked about this, you know, proposing a letter to Valve, which received no response. A lot of big figures have tried to get these guys unbanned. I'm going to play you guys a short clip, a great video by Richard Lewis three-hour interview with Steel, by the way, but one particular clip in this, which actually people do not really understand, Steel for the first time revealing, this is a, a while ago though, exactly why Valve is probably so persistent on these lifetime van bans with no appeal. That, you know. um, I'll tell you something that I don't think has been said before, yeah, sure. and um, I think this might have, might have, but I don't know, played a part in, in Valve's punishment. It's that, um, so I didn't have direct conversation with Valve, but Days did. And they asked us, like, what happened? And to give, like, a story of, of our events. And we basically lied to them. And, oh. in, yeah, I think that's what <laughs> And in that, we, we um, said Skidula had nothing to do with him and, and he didn't know anything about it because he didn't receive any skins. So we're like, <laughs> like we'll say, like, Skidula had no idea, like, nothing yeah. happened. Why you'd lie to Valve like, of all people knowing? I know, I know. That, that, that they can trying. trace the skins. 
we were naive, we're ignorant, and we didn't think that Valve was going to get involved, is what happened. Like, we wanted to just deny everything to the grave, is basically what, what we had decided, and we're like, this is, like, we're just going to deny it all. But it's it's gone to the point. Now, you guys know I'm an obvious fanboy. I love swag, I love steel, pretty much everyone else is not doing anything else. You know, we haven't seen days in a while, AZK is out there, and Skadoodle has gotten off scot-free. Actually confirmed by that clip now. It was Skadoodle was involved, we knew that, but he didn't receive any skins, so that's why he got off scot-free. Good for him, he's ha he had a nice career, now he's also retired though, and it's down to these two remaining players who have still played over the past three and a half to four years, and are now, finally, as they come to fruition and actually rising as players, they are clearly being punished for what they did so long ago for a couple hundred dollars, and I think we're all, I think I can I can speak fairly for a majority of you guys, there's always that one commenter who's like, screw those guys, man, screw swag, screw steel, they deserve nothing, they, you know, but still I think majority of us agree these guys have grinded for so long Valve even the best of the best players out there agree these guys deserve a shot at majors and DreamHack events once again, and that was in huge news. So Ghost Gaming could be making changes around Steel because of that, um, but those jump to conclusions, guys. It's actually not because of major runs, although that's an added benefit, right? If they do replace Steel, they do get the added benefit of playing those events, so keep that in mind. But it's actually internal communication and issues which might cause Steel to be benched on the Ghost Gaming roster before Pro League. And speaking of potential new rosters out there, it's actually Red Reserve. If you guys have not heard about this, I kind of was, it was actually confirmed through comments. I wasn't really following it too closely. Red Reserve pretty much has shut down across all of their esports. I know the Rocket League team is done. I know for sure their CSGO team is done and it could be amongst the entire branch. I think someone actually told me through comments that yeah, they're, they're pretty much, they're, they're diminishing all their esports teams. Very sad story, but that does mean two of their better players that were actually, one of them was let go before they actually diminished that entire roster. It will be Hampus alongside Draken forming a brand new team, which I'm actually excited for. Now, first of all, I do want to preface it's actually a pretty solid roster. G2 released existence. They're going to pick up him alongside Scream and HS. HS had his long, long stint with Tempo Storm when they picked up like four or five different players. Actually, a couple of French players during that time who decided not to go with that roster. If you guys remember, HS back on Optic, he had his times where he was a nutty player. This roster, if everyone can actually reach, reach their peaks, this roster has high potential. Although, as I say that, we all know so far, you know, Sponge tweeting out this morning, the European minor year in and year out. We thought this year was crazy. Next year is going to be immensely crazy for these guys. So it's really hard for an, even, uh, even a brand new European lineup with so much promise to actually show off their skill with so many established rosters out there right now in Europe. This roster looks super powerful on paper, but what they're going to be able to do is the ultimate question. If these guys cannot actually try, somehow make it through the minor, it's very, very likely they won't be signed. It won't probably stick together. I cross my fingers for these guys. They look pretty good and uh, on paper at least, but we haven't seen them play together. And speaking of which, uh, actually Scream, after announcing the roster, yeah, he already sprained his wrist. So hopefully not competing anytime soon. It's a, it's a light sprain though, nothing too serious. But ironically enough, they announced their new roster as a free agent to be signed. And uh, Scream's already hurt. But still, I'm excited for this roster. And uh, we'll see what they do. And this next roster as well, it's actually the reformation of Team Ancient. Way, way back in the day, I believe 2016 was a year. Snyder and Pronax actually reuniting. Snyder once again giving professional CSGO a try. This roster right off the bat joined by Robin as well. I do feel bad for this roster. Now, I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that I feel bad for Robin. I think he deserves a chance to succeed and I'm hopeful for this roster and I really hope they don't become the Michael Ailey esque roster. And if you guys know what I mean by that, Michael Ailey, his team is actually doing really well online so I cross my fingers for them as well. But we've seen so many mixed rosters out there, especially in Sweden. You know, they attempt the minor qualifier, they attempt the minors and they don't really do too well. This roster kind of reminds me of a roster that would do that. But again, best of hope for this roster. They're actually going to be uh, followed out by Kreese and 16-year-old Peppers, or Pep, 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 Pepser, Pepser is his name. He's 16 years old, so we'll see what potential he has. And what I was saying earlier, I feel bad for Robin. If you guys do not know his story, people still accuse this man of cheating. And I will say his response to all this was a bit, it was weird, but he's unbanned. So he's not banned. He was actually banned nearly five years ago. He was vac banned for cheating. And then he was actually unbanned because they falsely vac banned him 
for nearly five years. So imagine what this guy has gone through professionally in CSGO, all the hate, all the demise, and then he came out and said, apparently Valve was like, yeah, we, we falsely banned you. So his response though was so light, you know, for being banned for falsely for four years, he was like, yeah, I'm back. So it was a bit of a weird response. Either way, I feel bad for him. He is now back with his try for professional CSGO with this roster. This roster, I don't know, it, it's, it seems a bit iffy, but I wish them the best of luck, of course, in the future. And that also, very lastly, a couple of stories for all of you. It's actually formerly Team Kingwin. As many of you guys know, they actually have rebranded. Officially, they were going to be the Black Devils. And apparently, yeah, calling yourself the Black Devils publicity-wise is not the best move. I, I can't imagine why, right? Why you wouldn't want to call yourselves the Black Devils. So they will now be Devils 1 or Devils.1. I never know how teams expect them to be pronounced when they put the dot in the name, but that's that's the name they thought of. So we'll see how they do as well. That is formerly Kingman. They do have an ESL Pro League spot and a roster who retains the majority of that Kingman roster who look pretty promising in the Polish scene and might actually be your best Polish team right now uh, besides like an AGO and even Virtus Pro maybe in there. But yeah, probably your best uh, uh, Polish team currently will now be Devils 1. But as always, I hope you guys all enjoy their there should be a recap video out this afternoon and it's going to recap day two day one two and three of the legend stage because some crazy things have happened my pickums are are almost in the graveyard but we have a chance we still have a chance as always my name is jake i hope you guys all enjoy i will see you back here later uh today or if not i'll see you guys monday with more csgo news and until then have a safe weekend guys okay bye